Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's video, I wanna share with you some of my absolute favorite pineapple fragrances. Listen, I don't know if it's because I was born on the beautiful island of Jamaica, or I just love vacation and the Caribbean and tropical islands and exotic islands. I love a pineapple, okay? I love pineapple martinis, pineapple drinks, pina coladas. I love eating pineapples, drinking pineapple juice. Just give me the pineapple, okay? I love, love, love a pineapple. And I love the scent of a pineapple. A fresh pineapple, a sweet pineapple, an overly ripe pineapple. Pineapple is just a business, okay? Whenever spring, whenever it decides to get here, okay? I'm talking to you, spring. But whenever spring decides to get here, or summer rolls around, I just love smelling like a pineapple. I wish there were more pineapple fragrances out there, but guys, I feel like I've searched like high and low for pineapple scents because I just love how the pineapple smells on me. But if you're like me and you wanna smell like a pineapple too, then just continue to watch. Guys, before we get started with the video, if you look down below, YouTube added a new feature called Super Thanks. It's gonna be a heart, and I think it says thanks in there, or maybe just a heart. Um, I'll leave it on the screen somewhere, but it's called Super Thanks, and if you guys wanna thank me and buy me a coffee, well, I don't drink coffee, but you can buy me a tea, or a pineapple juice, or buy me a bottle of water, <laughs> you can do that down below. So, like I said, I'll leave the demonstration there for you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, make sure the red button turns gray, Tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads. Thumbs up the video so I know you love my content. And finally, leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. All right, guys, so before we get into the fragrances, I wanna show you my shower routine, my pineapple shower routine. In case this is your first time here, I wanna show you the products that I use whenever I'm wearing a pineapple fragrance. So let's start with the Fresh Outlast by Olay. This is my body wash. It's a pineapple body wash. It's actually pineapple and coconut, but it's predominantly pineapple, as you can see. You see the pineapple here and just like a little piece of coconut, but it's the majority pineapple. It smells so sweet. It smells like a nice, fresh pineapple. I absolutely love it. And in the shower, when the water hits this and it activates, listen, pineapples, okay? If you love pineapples, you're going to be in pineapple heaven. So the other step is my pineapple body scrub. So this is the Tree Hut pineapple body scrub. Guys, another one that smells so beautiful. <sighs> like literally, Literally, it smells like you're biting into a pineapple. This is awesome, like this is amazing. Like honestly, Tree Hut put their foot in it when they made this scrub right here. This is everything. Now, I have two lotions that I use when I use my pineapple fragrances. The first one I wanna show you is by The Body, not The Body Shop, I keep doing that. You know what it is? It's The Body Shop, Bath & Body Works, Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm in those three stores. A few times a week so I keep getting them confused but Bath and Body Works so this is the coconut and pineapple 24-hour moisture uh, ultra shea body cream this smells like pineapple and coconut as you can see I believe they changed the packaging but it's beautiful if you love pineapple and coconut then you need this lotion like I said it's in a different packaging but it smells like a pina colada pineapple and coconut I love this but I have to tell you this my favorite pineapple body cream, body lotion, body butter, whatever you wanna call it, is by Hemp's, and it's the Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. So I got this one from Ulta, but I believe Hemp's is sold in Target. I think I've seen them in Walmart, but I feel like certain scents are like designated for different locations, if that makes any sense, different um, brands. So I feel like I've only ever seen the Sweet Pineapple in Ulta. So. Any pineapple fragrance that you have, you wanna layer it and let the scent linger around a little bit longer, project a little bit further, then these are the products that you need. So the first fragrance on the list today is by Electimus and it's Imperium. Okay, so hear me out. This is a vanilla fragrance. It's a citrus vanilla fragrance. Now, I'm putting it on this list because it smells like <laughs> there's a pineapple in this fragrance. I feel like so many people that have smelled this also agree that this smells like there's a pineapple, like a big, juicy, ripe pineapple, like right there, front and center. Like that's what you smell. 
it's a beautiful scent but for me it's a citrus vanilla scent it actually smells like lamar by kajal mixed with ani by nishani to me to my nose it's unisex um I kind of felt like it was more feminine leaning, but I feel like a lot of people have said it leaned masculine on them. But you know, it's to, you know, to each his own, but it's a beautiful scent. I absolutely love it. It doesn't have a note of pineapple in it, but it smells like it. Really quickly, there's bergamot, coriander, rose, lily, saffron, jasmine, uh, neroli, tuberose, amber, musk, vanilla, oud, patchouli. Beautiful, beautiful fragrance, citrusy vanilla scent i feel like it can be worn all year round because of the citrus nature in the opening but it smells like a pineapple so imperium by electimus all right so this next fragrance that we're going to talk about guys when i tell you that as soon as i smelled this fragrance like i literally should have bought two bottles i should have bought two bottles because i'm that much obsessed with it i'm so obsessed with it that i don't really wear it because i just try to savor it especially how i spray like this would have been done last summer i got this fragrance in 2020 and i'm completely obsessed and it's none other than pineapple by dolce and gabbana guys when i tell you this is such a sweet juicy overly ripe photorealistic pineapple that i have ever smelled okay this smells like a pure it makes me so happy like honestly guys when i smell this fragrance it makes me incredibly happy now this fragrance is hard to find in the states i purchased it from the dolce and gabbana boutique however you can still find it either on Harrods or Selfridges.com. And I'll have everything that I'm speaking about today in the video linked in my description box. So I will have a link for this fragrance, guys, if you're interested in purchasing it. If you love the smell of a sweet pineapple, you want to be uplifted and happy when you smell your scent, then you need this, okay? This one opens up with pineapple. There's Sicilian mandarin. There's jasmine, vanilla, ambergris, orchid, and tobacco. Now, the funny thing about this fragrance is when I read the notes initially and I saw tobacco, I was like, hmm, tobacco and pineapple. Okay, that's interesting. But when I smell this, to me, um, like, like I don't really get any tobacco. I feel like it's probably just there to ground the fragrance and make it not smell like a juvenile body spray because this does not smell cheap and it does not smell like a body spray. I don't know how they were able to capture that in a pineapple fragrance. Like that actually smells like a sweet, juicy pineapple, but they did that, okay? And I absolutely love this. This isn't like a dressy fragrance for me. This is a running around, running errands, going to brunch or an early lunch not even really brunch i mean i guess i could wear it to brunch but you know i just probably would wear something a little bit more fancy this is my happy fragrance like i just want to feel happy and uplifted and i want to keep smelling myself because when i wear this i just want to eat my arm like i want to eat my arm i want to keep smelling myself because it smells so so good guys when i tell you this is blind by worthy okay if you like a pineapple scent if you like a sweet fruity pineapple scent this is blind by worthy like completely i completely stand behind this fragrance guys i'm telling you i can't say enough good things about this dolce and gabbana pineapple all right y'all so this one right here when i tell you this is summer date night this is creme de cure creme de cure by bdk i've been telling y'all for the longest now that bdk has me in a serious chokehold okay and i'm not lying like i literally have almost the entire bdk collect okay i do have the entire bdk collection actually i don't own all of them some of them are in bae's closet because they're more masculine but i definitely have the entire bdk line that was all gifted to me but guys when i tell you that i would pay for each of these fragrances with my own coins because they're just that incredible okay this is creme de cure i got this one i want to say sometime last year in um maybe september october i had like all of my fragrances that i was so excited to wear for fall and winter and i smelled this and i was like wow okay i'm gonna revisit it and i put it down until 2022 i wore this one day guys on a date with Bay, and when i tell you i was like is that what we doing that's what okay listen sexy date night creamy smoky 
pineapple leathery fragrance and i don't like leather i don't like leather actually i do have maybe two fragrances or maybe a few fragrances with leather but it has to be done in a different type of way like i don't want to smell like i'm wearing a harley davidson jacket does that make any sense like i don't want to smell it like that it just has to be there to ground the fragrance just enough to make me want to wear it but guys when i tell you this is a beautiful sweet pineapple citrusy smoky dream creme de cure is everything okay and i'm so mad that i slept on it for months like it was one of those discoveries in my collection like i was like okay let me pull this because i never wore this one and i wore it and was like how like how was i not wearing you like you should not have that much fragrance still left in you like you need to look like um what's the one that i'm always wearing rouge smoking like this right here listen let me tell you the notes it opens up with pink pepper then there's pineapple bergamot sandalwood suede vanilla leather accord birch and musk and guys do not run okay St stay where you at St stop moving listen to me when i'm telling you the leather and the suede mm, it just grounds the fragrance it adds a little bit of smokiness a little bit of texture to the fragrance but it's not like a strong masculine leathery scent i'm telling you guys i do not like fragrances like that i don't this can be an all year round scent as well. Like this, for me, this is a summer date night. I wouldn't wear this in a day. Although it has pineapple and it's like fruity, but it's just something that makes it a little bit more, it's more rounder and more deeper than say like your Dolce Gabbana pineapple. You know what I mean? Although it's a sweet pineapple in its fragrance, but the dry down is just so smooth and so creamy and so elegant, so sophisticated, so sexy. I absolutely love it. If you're interested, you can save 20% on soavantgarde.com using my discount code THEGREAT20. Creme de cure, guys, she's that girl, period. So the next pineapple dream that we're gonna talk about today is by Killian and it's Apple Brandy on the Rocks beautiful beautiful bottle guys i'm obsessed now this fragrance right here has me in a chokehold as well a lot of people that i speak to like a lot of my fragrance friends here they don't feel this fragrance and i don't know why i'm obsessed with this like this is beautiful another all year round type of scent but i feel like it'll shine spring and summer nights like this is a date night fragrance for me in the spring summer i love this fragrance let me tell you the notes it has cardamom bergamot rum pineapple vanilla apple brandy moss and broxen and cedar i don't feel like it's a safe blind buy um only because of what a lot of my subbies tell me like you know they don't really like it but if you like a boozy fragrance if you like a fragrance that has rum and it's just like it just smells like a cocktail but in a good way in a fragrance way i know that sounds kind of crazy because who wants to smell like somebody threw a drink on you <laughs> But it just smells so good to me. Like I'm like I'm obsessed with this. I cannot stop wearing it. I can't stop smelling it. This is a for life fragrance in my collection. This was purchased with my own coins, just in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> okay, none of my Killian was gifted to me. I mean, unless it was gifted by Bay, but that doesn't count, right? <laughs> but this is a beautiful scent, and I feel like if you like this fragrance, then you'll like Creme de Cure by BDK. They're not similar in that this has rum. And it just smells a little bit more boozy, but I feel like they kind of are in the same family, if that makes any sense. This is incredible. Last long on my skin. I've heard that it doesn't last on people's skin. On me, it lasts. Um, I do overspray this fragrance. I use my pineapple lotion with it. It sweetens it up a little bit. I don't know if you guys have worn this fragrance and felt like it smelled masculine on you, but just sweeten it up with a nice, sweet, girly, frilly frou frou la la pineapple lotion and then you put something like this on top of it and get your life okay just holding this fragrance in my hand is making my mouth water when i tell you this is such a juicy pineapple like this pineapple right here is so ripe that you wouldn't want to eat it you know what i mean like it's that ripe it's that sweet it's that potent but when i tell you the pineapple in lamar that's what this is Lamar by Kajal. The pineapple in this fragrance lasts the entire time <laughs> that you're wearing this fragrance. From start to the middle to the finish. Now, a lot of the pineapple scent in the fragrances that we're going to talk about today or that we've spoken about already, it dies down a little bit to the end. Like, especially in the dry down, you'll get a little hint of pineapple maybe if you like 
you know, sniff really hard. But this right here, like this is a pineapple explosion. And it's so crazy to me that pineapple is only listed in the top of this fragrance. Like smelling this, it sounds like the pineapple would be in the middle, the top, the base, like underneath it, around the corner, up in the cupboard, like pineapple everywhere in this fragrance, but it's not. So it opens up with pineapple. There's red berries. There's apple, cardamom, coriander, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, um, jasmine, magnolia, vanilla, amber, cedar, moss, and musk. This is a beautiful beast, okay? When that's how you people smell this fragrance, it's a loud fragrance. You can spray, here's the thing, it's loud, but you can still spray heavy, if that makes any sense. Like, there's some fragrances that are loud that if you spray heavy, you might choke or something like that. I've never choked with Lamar. <laughs> And I love layering this fragrance. Let me tell you something. With Strychnina by Vicanto, guys, when you layer the two, Strychnina and Lamar, and you guys know, like, I'm starting to be a layerer. Like, I'm going to tell you some combinations. If you want me to do a layering video like that, I will. Because I've started getting into layering, like, other than, like, layering with creams. Like, I'm starting to layer my fragrances together. And I'm proud of myself. I'm really proud. This and Strychnina, mm, could get it, okay? Like I said, long-lasting, sweet, juicy, like mouth-wateringly sweet, juicy pineapple. But it has a very deep base. It's woody. It's musky. It just has so much depth to it. Like this is, don't think about a pineapple fragrance like, it's not like this, okay? Although I love this, okay? This is like, I love you, okay? You know that already. Love this fragrance. This makes me happy. It's a more uplifting, perky kind of scent. This is pineapple, and it smells like pineapple and pineapple all the way through, but it's a little bit darker. It's a little bit deeper. It has a little bit more depth to it. Like, this can be worn on a sexy date. Now, you can wear this in a day, too, because I have worn it in the day, but this can be worn on a date. This can be worn at night. This can be worn um, in the fall, spring, winter, like all seasons, but you can wear it summer nights, too. You know what I mean? Like, or on a cooler day. It's not going to be cloying. It's not going to be... <sighs> It's so beautiful. It's not going to be cloying. It's not going to be too suffocating or anything like that. But you'll definitely smell sweet and musky and woody. I absolutely love this. Lamar by Kajal. Next up, we have Angel Iced Star. This is my pina colada. Pina colada and angel in a bottle. When I tell you that I was stalking, like literally stalking the Mugler website when I found out that this was coming out because they had this whole Instagram thing with like pineapples and coconuts. And when I tell you guys, the key to my heart in the spring and summer, especially the summer, is a pineapple and a coconut. Like if you want to get me, if you want to lure me in, lure me in with a good pineapple and coconut, okay? Like I'm, I'm all yours. That's all it takes. Like, I'm easy to please. I love a pineapple scent and I love a coconut scent. And they added them both in this fragrance right here. Guys, let me tell you something. When I say stalking, like, Carmen San Diego had nothing on me, okay? Like, as soon as this dropped, like, the day of, like, the morning that it dropped, I forgot the date, I was purchasing this fragrance from the Mugler website because... Listen, the pineapple and the coconut for me. <laughs> so it opens up with pineapple. Then there's coconut, vanilla, patchouli, and pralines. Yeah, yeah, she's that serious. So I layer this fragrance with the coconut and pineapple. And when I tell you, you guys already know. Say it with me. It's everything, okay? <laughs> Listen, if you want to smell like a pina colada, this is the one you need. And it's like, it smells like a pina colada, but it still smells like angel. Like, you still smell the angel DNA somewhere down near, like, hidden behind all the coconut and the pineapple. But it smells incredible. I absolutely love this. Let me tell you something. I'm always buy angel, okay? Like, I'm an angel girl. My father purchased the original angel for me obviously many many moons ago that was my first designer fragrance and you couldn't tell me nothing nothing at all with my angel okay because i was like one of the girls that was wearing a very expensive perfume it wasn't from victoria's secret or anything like that it was a real fragrance and i love it like it's loud it's commanding attention and i'm that girl and when they come out with a flanker like i have all the flankers except for 
I don't have the 2019 one. That's the one that smells like um, a mango or it has a mango note in it. I don't have that one. But any flanker they come out with, I want it. And I can't wait to see what they're gonna come out with this year, okay? Because they did the fig, they did the mango, they did the pineapple coconut. Like, what y'all gonna do this year? Like, let me know, because I'm waiting. So guys, I'm telling you, and it's a designer fragrance, because I know a lot of the fragrances on this list Actually, it's the only designer on this list. Guys, what's up with that? No, Dolce & Gabbana, that's a designer fragrance as well. Although it's like the higher, whatever, the higher line of designer fragrances. This is a designer fragrance that you can get from Macy's if it's still available. Because I think this was, was this limited edition? If it's available, I'm going to link it for you down below. But anywho, it's a designer fragrance. It's not more than like $150. Like you can spend less than $100 maybe or $100 and get this fragrance it smells like a pina colada it lasts all day on my skin it smells like angel a little bit but you have that pina colada vibe to it that i absolutely love and it's everything <laughs> mugler's iced star next up is tamarindo by memo guys this fragrance right here is sweet it's fruity it's spicy it's woody it's musky like literally all that in this bottle it's tropical this fragrance actually smells okay so here's the thing this doesn't really smell like anything it smells like itself however when you first like at first sniff you may get a little bit of remnants of Coco Mademoiselle Intense. I have to tell you that. It says it on Fragrantica. And usually, like, you guys know how I feel about Fragrantica. Like, I take it with a milligram of salt, <laughs> okay? However, I have to say that in this case, they were a little bit right. It doesn't smell exactly like it. It's not a dupe of it or anything like that, okay? Let's not get crazy. However, when you first smell it, it'll give you, like, a... It, Coco, is that you? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. That's that's not Coco. She looked like Coco, but she's not Coco. Let me say the notes. It's bergamot, cardamom, mandarin orange. There's orange, pineapple. There's jasmine, tuberose, patchouli, vanilla, and benzoin. It's a beautiful scent. You actually smell. This is kind of like a tropical, fruity vanilla fragrance, to be honest. Like, because you smell the vanilla, like, in the dryer down, it dries down to a beautiful vanilla on your skin. Guys, everything okay memos tamarindo next on the list we have hachivat by nishane now this one right here guys is a little bit controversial only because a lot of you guys have told me that it smells masculine on you and like honestly i don't get that on me but it could be because i'm using like sweet fruity you know, ultra sweet uh, body creams and body lotions such as sweet pineapple and honey melon to layer or um, a coconut pineapple. I did use a coconut pineapple with this like a few, um, not a few, um, last year when I first got this, I was so thirsty to use it and I was using this together and I do like it, but honestly, I love it with the hemp sweet pineapple and coconut so not coconut um sweet pineapple and honey melon so that could be the reason why it doesn't smell masculine on me but i don't even get masculine out the nozzle like it just smells like it smells strong it smells like it has a lot of depth to it but i don't get masculine maybe that's what it is you know i don't assimilate a fragrance with masculine if it smells like it has depth it just smells like it has a lot of depth it smells deep it smells like there's a more layers to it you know what i mean but it doesn't necessarily smell masculine to me but let me tell you the notes it opens up with pineapple and then there's grapefruit there's bergamot cedar patchouli jasmine oak moss and woody notes so it does have a lot of depth and layers as you can see i mean it has patchouli there's oak moss there's woody notes it's deep this is not like your playful frou frou la la type of pineapple but it's beautiful like to me it's a date night fragrance bay loves this fragrance on me it la listen when i tell y'all this lasts forever on my skin like hear me when i tell you this lasts forever it's a beast mode fragrance you don't have to overspray this spray that's the thing about this you don't have to overspray you could like with this one for me i like i spray my pulse points and you know i spray like a normal person i don't go crazy crazy because this can choke you out okay like ask me how i know get go, go ahead ask me ask me how i know it can choke you out 
<laughs> so you don't have to spray a lot with this one right here, guys. Be smoke. If you want a be smoke fragrance, this is the one that you get right here. And if you're interested, you can save 20% on soavanguard.com using my discount code, The Great. 20. To me, it's beautiful. It is a unisex scent. It's like a date night scent, you know, not an everyday run around scent. Mind your sprays because it can choke you out. Okay. Last but not least, we have one of my favorite fragrances by Clive Christian, 1872. Guys, if you've been with me, you know that this fragrance was a gift from Bay for Christmas in 2021. And I absolutely love, listen, look at this. Look at my dent. Like, this is a summer fragrance for me. I mean, I've worn it in the wintertime, but this is primarily a summer fragrance, and I have a lot of fragrances. So that dent right there shows you I love this fragrance. It's such an easy grab-and-go. I'm fresh. I'm green, but I'm a little bit sweet. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying too hard, but, oh, <laughs> you see me? You know what I mean? Like, it's that type of fragrance. Now, I put it in this video because when you think about this fragrance, like, if you smell this fragrance, you're not going to smell this and say, oh, this is a pineapple fragrance. But because it's so green and fresh, and I also heard from a lot of women, because this is a feminine one, right? But I heard from women that even the feminine one smells masculine to them, and it's very citrusy. It's very green. It has rosemary in it as well, so it's very aromatic but the pineapple to me is what makes it sweet and it's not like overly sweet it's not sweet like in that type of way but it just has that fresh pineapple in it and i smell it in the dry down and it's awesome it's amazing i love it okay so this has bergamot i'm not gonna read you all the notes because guys like seriously clive christian fragrances like the notes are like a scroll okay bergamot lemon rosemary tangerine pineapple blueberry do you see how fruity it is like it's so super fruity there's lily of the valley violet there's rose freesia jasmine orchid i mean i can go on cedar like must and like listen it, it keeps going and going and going like the energizer bunny to me this fragrance smells like money it smells rich it smells just like effortlessly rich you know what i mean like you're just strolling off the jet you might have like your sweatsuit on and your book bag and your sunglasses and you just stroll in. You know what I mean? Like it's just one of those days coming off the jet. <laughs> That's what this smells like to me. In the spring, summer, if I'm going to Madison Avenue or Fifth Avenue in the city, I'm wearing Clive Christian 1872 because... It's just a vibe. Like, that's the vibe that I get. It's a Madison Avenue vibe. And I just love it. It smells fresh. It smells green. It doesn't smell like you're trying too hard. But it smells like, ooh, like, yeah, I see you. You know what I mean? Like, you're that girl. You're that chick. Not for everybody. You know what I mean? Like, everybody's not going to appreciate this scent. It's not super sweet. Although it has a lot of fruits in it, it's not like that. But I just wanted to mention it in this video because I absolutely love it. And I smell the pineapple in this fragrance mixed with everything else they got going on in this fragrance. This fragrance smells like money. Period. It'll be a for life fragrance for me. Like, forever. It is available on soavanguard.com. Now, I don't know if it's in stock. Okay? Because you guys are TTG, okay? Train to go. When y'all hear there's a sale, y'all wipe out that damn poor little website, <laughs> okay? So hopefully it's back in stock because they always restock, you know, eventually. So hopefully it's back in stock because you can save 20% off this fragrance using my discount code, the Great 20 all right, guys, so we've come to the end of the video. Leave it in the comments below and let me know, do you love the scent of pineapple? Do you love pineapple fragrances? Do you crave pineapple? Guys, I'm always on the hunt for pineapple. Like, give me all the pineapples. Give me the pina coladas, okay? Let's talk about it in the comments below like we always do. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI The Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.